Hello, today I'm going to show you how to write a C++ program which accepts two numbers from a user and then prints their sum and, and product. So let's start and see how to proceed with Devi C++ as a C++ compiled program. program. Let's see how to do it. It's very easy. It's all about just to understand the concept of programming. Let's start. So when you want to program or to make a program in C++, you can use uh, like Devi C++ as a compiler, compiler editor. So we normally start by <coughs> writing this code, include iStream, that is a preprocessor directive. That line is called pre processor directive. Pre processor directive it includes the input and the output streams or library functions. The next line that is very important is all about using name namespace standard. That's how you can declare standard uh, library functions. Normally start by main function that appears in all in all programs C++. So as you want to find the sum and the product of two numbers, as it's mentioned here, to give the numbers by the user. We just declare them. Let's suppose, let's suppose that these numbers are integers, or you can take any any type of numbers. Let's take integer numbers. So we declare first of all those numbers. Let's call first variable num1, num2, and prod, which is a product variable and then the sum that is the sum of full two numbers so this is say uh, the declaration of full uh, our variables that will be used in this program so let's prompt the user to enter the the numbers normal write c out as output stream you can say enter enter two numbers line so we include the instruction instruction function that is all about reading function so the first value will be input in num1 the second will be input in num2 so that's how the values will be read from the keyboard then we need to calculate the sum. Sum will be equal to num1 plus num2 and calculate product. The product value or the result as the product will be stored in a product variable that will be equal to num1 times num2. We don't use we don't use cross as it is used in math we use star that is a, a co, uh, arithmetic operator which is all about multiplication or that is used for for finding products let's now print out these calculations let's first of all print sum sum will be equal to sum will be equal to so sum is is a text that will be printed on the screen then write sum the variable sum is going to be used as a holder of a value that is stored in the sum and let's print also the product Say product 
that. Product equals to what is stored in the variable prod. That's the variable that is storing the value of product. So what is next is just to show where the the main function ends. This is the end the end of So after writing all these codes, the source, the source code, you're gonna see how to compile and run the program. It means you want to see the result. We click execute and then compile and run, or you can use the keyboard shortcut F11. So the system will ask us to first of all save the program. Let's call it calculation. Calculation pro program and save. So let's wait a moment. There's some er there are some errors you can see it here so dvc plus plus is showing us that there's an error where c out was not declared in this scope let's see the the problems actually when c out is not is used but when this line is not well uh, well written it causes this this error so that is that is a compile error. Let's write name space one. Yes, even this end line is one of the keyword that is that is all about this line. When it is not mentioned well, it causes some compile errors. So let's go and compile again and run. So when there are, there are no errors, the program will appear in this way. So let's now enter these numbers. Let me enter, for example, 45, 78. And when you press enter, some will be 1, 2, 3, and product will be uh, 3,510. So this is how the program will be look like. So when I, I run and compare again, Great. So let me enter, for example, 50 and 96. So we have we have the results. So this is how the program should look like. It's it's easy and coding is not difficult when you have the logic. So I say that the first line shows declaration of uh, variables. This second line shows how the user will be prompt to, to work with the program. This line shows where variables will be kept, two variables. One will be kept in num1, another one will be kept in num2 by using the in uh, function as input function C++. So this is, these are the calculations. We have also another instructions that is all about to print out what was stored in the sum and what was stored in the product. As you are seeing on this result, we have entered 50 that will be stored in num1, 90 that will be stored in num2, and we have, we when we press enter, we get sum equals to the value that is stored in the sum. And again, this end line shows that the next the next result will be entered on the on the new line 
so we have product that is equal to this value as you are seeing here so what what you are seeing here it is the value that is toward the prod so thank you very much guys so i really thank you so what is next is just to watch the the program and subscribe and share it with your friends thank you very much